Hey everyone, Mike here with Mike's Bay Tackling Guitar Lessons. Uh, we have a special video today. As the title says, we're making vinegar hot dogs uh, for catfishing. And it's going to seem like kind of a weird recipe, but it's worked pretty well for me the last couple years, so why fix what ain't broken? Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make these. It's a really fast video, and let's just get started. So we want to use the cheapest hot dogs we can get. Uh, in this case, these were on sale for like a dollar, so I got these. Uh, what we want to do first is cut each hot dog up into about five pieces each. Uh, that seems to work best for me. Now that we have um, our hot dogs all cut up, uh, what we want to do next is put them inside of some sort of bag or container. So I've got a plastic bag here, we're just going to throw them in here. All right, and once they're in the bag here, uh, we can start adding our ingredients. So I like using red wine vinegar. Um, it's just something I've been using and it's been working for me. So we'll just keep using red wine vinegar here. Go ahead and pour in a pretty generous amount. Definitely enough to kind of cover the hot dogs and just get them all full of that scent and flavor. There we go, that, that should do it. So now that we've got a red wine vinegar in, what we want to do next is start adding some garlic salt and garlic powder. So I'll go ahead and throw some garlic powder in. Be, be generous, generous with these ingredients. I mean, that's the more the merrier for this, pretty much. So I'll go ahead and put some garlic salt in, garlic powder in, and now, yeah, now we got some garlic salt. So I'll just kind of dump some of that in. We've got our garlic salt in here, garlic powder. Now I'll just add a little bit more regular salt just, just for the added flavor, you know, why not? All right, and once we got all our ingredients in the bag, go ahead and seal it up and just shake it around, kind of just mix it all around. Oh yeah. Get them all mixed up. And there you go, that's, that's all you have to do and just kind of let these sit. I personally just let them kind of sit outside. I mean, I'll usually go through all these within, you know, a week or two. So uh, I just let them kind of sit outside in a garage or something uh, at room temperature. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter too much for me. Um, as long as you're not casting them too far or hard, they shouldn't fly off the hook. Uh, and that's it. So hope you guys like the hot dog recipe. Uh, I'll try to get another video out of me actually using these to fish and I'll try to put some pictures in one of these videos of some of the catfish I've caught using these over the years. I use them mainly for channel catfish, um, but they might work for other types of catfish as well. I just, I'm not sure if they do or not. So until next time.